does not even know that there is an alligator right there. He just had to get out of the camper. Change your belly. Belly, belly. Belly, belly. Belly, belly, belly. Belly, 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 belly. But there's that gator right there. That gator thinks you'd be a yummy snack, belly, belly. He'd come right over here and eat ya. Oh, that was a big fish. Something. Maybe it was another gator. He's tracking us. I'm sitting here tracking this gator who's tracking us, me and Belly. Watching him. He's turned away because I'm standing up talking. He doesn't like that. But you don't see him jumping down, do you? But then I notice back here. Look at this one. Back here watching us. That's a gator too. I can't zoom in any further. He's about 50 feet away. This one over here, about 25 feet away. Belly. Well, he's gone in to get, no he hasn't. Well, he's trying to get himself tangled up under the tire. He's hot. I told him to go in there and get some water. Now he's tangled. So I'm gonna have to rescue him. <laughs> okay, I got Belly unstuck. Look at there, they're coming together now. That other one I think is bigger. It's probably the pair that was mating a couple weeks ago. You know what that means. Babies! Baby gators! sit here and be quiet. You can hear bullfrogs. I think that's what that is. You can hear birds. I swear I hear a goat. I don't know. You can see stuff jumping out of the water, tons of fish and stuff, jumping. Makes you wonder. There was uh, a lot of fishermen here over the last couple weeks. And uh, some of them were just hauling in fish like crazy. And others said they couldn't catch anything. And I'm thinking, I don't know about you, but I'm thinking if you can't catch something in this lake, then you aren't trying very hard. Because I mean, constantly. See all those little rings? That's fish jumping up. 
to eat bugs that are landing on the water. Sometimes they jump high and sometimes they just snuck them. And then you can see the tiny rings. That's where there's just a bug landing and no fish. When there's a big ring, that's when there's a big fish or a fish. The two gators that were tracking me and Belly, they have wandered way about two, three hundred feet away over there. I can't, can't even tell if they're over there anymore. Wait, there's one. You probably can't see it. I'm pretty sure that's one right there. Right there. I'm pretty sure that's one of the gators. I thought they were going to mate. They were over there thrashing for a second. But, I don't know. I guess she said, no, get away from me. I don't think it happened. I'm pretty sure that's one of them right there. Yeah, this lake is just full, full, full of wildlife. And here I just said something about how there's not a single soul in this park and I was a liar because all these animals are here and they're not hiding because there's no campers. So they're just out there being chill. And there's Belly, completely oblivious to the whole thing. He's just enjoying the grass. Some stuck in his throat. Belly, belly. So, we're expecting a flood. Today is May 28th, and the Arkansas River is flooding like crazy all over the place north of us, and it's coming this way. They expect it any minute. We've already closed half the park and the other half of the campers all left too. But the water hasn't risen even a little bit yet. In fact, it's, there. it's still kind of a little bit low. And uh, Belly, Belly, you are gator bait, sir. Get back up here. Gator can s sneak right up there and snack you. Come here. Come on. He was happily right up here until I start filming, and then of course, gotta be a dummy. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the, the flood water. Yeah, see that? Here, that gator's coming. He saw you down there. He's coming after you. You don't even know. He's so oblivious. Anyway, <laughs> so the uh, water's actually a little bit low right now, they said, which is funny. To think that it's flooding everywhere and it's headed this way and looking at the National Weather Service they're saying that the crest well actually they haven't actually completely determined the crest but they think that it's going to crest which means level off June 7th <laughs> today's May 28th and um, yeah so uh, I doubt if there will be any campers, except maybe somebody traveling that doesn't know what's going on might pull in here. And as long as half the park's open, I can sell a campsite. It's not on the water. Uh, there are some right behind me that are close to the water that you can see the water. And they're high, so they're not likely to, to flood. At this juncture, not that we are aware, they're pretty sure it's not going to get any worse right now. Um, that it's just going to come... And it's rising slowly. Well, um, but uh, I don't have, it's a perfect time for me to go back to Hot Springs and regroup and visit my daughter and stuff because the park is basically going to be empty for a couple of weeks. And yet, I have no money, no gas, no way to go anywhere. <sighs> I don't get paid until the 3rd my social security check and <laughs> that's not really going to do me much good because last month this is so stupid but 
this is how tight my budget is. Last month when I paid my bills, I have certain bills that are paid automatically and certain bills that I pay, you know, myself online. <clears throat> and then whatever's left is what I use for groceries and gas and you get the picture. And uh, so I paid all my um, bills that I have to do manually and I left enough money in my account for my automatic payments. And then I put the rest of the money on my credit card so that I could use it for buying gas and groceries. Well, for whatever reason, Amazon took my payment twice. I don't even know why. So, but, and there's nothing, I mean, I tried to get a hold of them, but I couldn't get a hold of anybody. I couldn't get into my account because I'm, you know, remote and I was trying to do it on, uh, on the computer at work and it wanted me to verify my account by my email and I, or my text or whatever, some a text message, I believe. And I couldn't get a signal, so I couldn't get a text message with the, you know, to confirm my account. So I couldn't get a hold of them and I sent them an email and of course they ignored me. And I know from experience that it wouldn't do any good. They wouldn't give me the money back anyway. And even if they did give me the money back, they aren't gonna pay for the two bounce check fees that they caused. So anyway, that extra 50 bucks caused a, a 200, $230 or some odd dollar deficit in my account. So like Friday, I should have my little SSI check. It's only $11, but usually at least it's enough to get some gas or, you know, something. But nope, I won't have that because that will be sucked into the vortex of my of my uh, arrears in my bank account and then um, on the third I'll get my regular check which is not much but you know it's going to be $200 lighter anyway because of this stupid double Amazon payment thank you very much Amazon and um, you know so that's a lot of money. I don't even, there's no way I can go back to Hot Springs on that. I am seriously thinking that I need to find a food pantry and not even buy any groceries because I don't know what else to do. I'm just kind of stuck here with the gators. Me and Belly and the gators. Hungry for the month. <laughs> Thank you, Amazon. How nice. And speaking of Amazon... <laughs> I know this is funny, but I have set up my Amazon storefront, and um, what it is, it's where I've, um, people ask me where did I buy, you know, the supplies that I use to build my solar, different things that I used in my build uh, when I remodeled the camper, and, you know, things that I find that I, I must have in my van life, my RV life. And I, so I've put links to all those things in my Amazon storefront. And if you wanted to help me out and shop through my Amazon storefront when you decide to go to Amazon, then you, you know, I'd get a little bit of a commission from that. Also, I have launched my Patreon page. And it is, um, you know, I'm going to put all the links in, down below in the, in the description. Um, you can join for as little as a dollar, and then when you do, you'll get access to my private, um, tribe Facebook page, um, Victoria's Vagabond Village Tribe, and, um, access to, uh, my, uh, personal emails, um, every month, talking about keeping you up with what's going on with me. Um, where I'm at, where I'm traveling, what I'm doing in school, what art I'm doing, so on and so forth. And I'm also starting a private blog on my Patreon account that only subscribers can, can get access to. And, um, there's my first blog post has a little gift, one of my, um, photographs. 
and uh, you can download that and you can you know use it for anything other than you can't sell it but you can you can use it print it make a card out of it or or whatever put it on your screensaver whatever you want to do with it worship me that works too <laughs> and, and um <clears throat> excuse me what else oh and of course there's always my book my poetry book history of my heart um, is for sale on my website at victoria-stewart-myers.square.site and um, I've got prints for sale on there that I you know limited edition prints that um, through my website you get a special deal um, so, um, yeah, those are ways that you could help me out. Maybe help me get back to Hot Springs for a week or so while nothing's going on here. And, uh, or, you know, eat. <laughs> Eating's good, too. So, um, you're not going to have to watch my ugly mug on this video because I think I'm just going to have gators and belly on this one. And, uh, so yeah, peace. I'm Victoria. I drink my coffee At the table